Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight in the featherweight division. Let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 31 years old. He weighed in at 67.5 kilograms. He stands 168 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 20 wins with seven losses. He is the Black Sea Cup winner in Pancrates. He is the world champion of M1 Challenge 2009. From Legion Rostov, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Yuri Ivlev. And now his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 65.8 kilograms. He stands at 175 centimeters tall. He has an unbeaten professional record of seven wins and no losses. He is the world champion in Pancrase, the international master of sports in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. He is the L1 Challenge featherweight champion from Dagestan, Matt Gafurov! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will start the fight with a yellow card to Yuri Ivlev because he did not make weight. And your referee, Vashislav Griselov. Итак, правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Внимательно слушаем мои команды. Деремся активно в стойке, в партере, в атаке и в защите. Руки пожали. По углам. And the main event of the evening starts right now. Is the first 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 well, as explained, Ivlev did not make weight, so he gets a yellow card, so he's won down already. He's up against an unbeaten fighter, the champion, Marat Kafurov. Yeah. But we know how good Ivlev is. And it's his first fight in a featherweight, and he didn't make weight. He, he came in overweight, almost two kilos. And it's very difficult to say in, in what, what shape he is now. Yeah, because, it's because he was very exhausted yesterday, the way well, he, I'm sure he'll have tried to cut. He is a professional. Like you say, it's his first time at this weight. I bet he nigh killed himself to get down to that weight. So how is he feeling now? Although he gets a yellow card, it can still make you tight when you try to cut that much weight. But a great sprawl there by Ivlev. And also another thing that uh, Marat Gafurov himself is coming of the quite long layoff, about nine months. What do you think about his physical condition? Can, can it be affected by to, to this? Be honest, no, I, don't, I don't think, you know, it depends what his training camp's been like. I've had a five-year layoff and came back and won. So, yeah. you know, if you train hard enough, if you, you know, if you've got a good camp behind you, a layoff for nine months is not that long. And plus, he, he stayed active in the other sports. He, he, was, he, he won a professional BJJ World Championship in Purple Bells. Well, he went in for the shot there. He led through a kick, he kind of grimaced at the kick because it looked as if it was a low kick, but obviously accidental. Garifurov now takes the back of Ivlev. Gets one hook in. Gets the both hooks in. Now almost all the people believe it, that if this fight will go to the ground. Yuri doesn't have any chance, so what do you think about his chances well, against it, Marat? We've seen him, he, he likes the good throw, Ivlev, he likes to go on the ground, but I mean now he's in a bad position. Gafurov has took the back, he's got the body lock on. But nice and calm is Ivlev. I mean, has this weight cut, although like you say, he didn't make weight, but he tried to make weight, has the weight cut affected him? But punishing the shoulders with, with elbows, just trying to weaken him down, just soften him up a little bit. Trying to tie his arms out so they can't defend the choke. But you see how the legs are like in a triangle position? Yep. Like a Furov, it's very hard to escape from that. Normally you can turn into your opponent, but it's now impossible to do it like that. He's got the figure four lock and he's got his foot underneath the leg of Ivlev. Very hard to turn. Especially when he's got a lot of pressure on yeah, there. And, and considering that Gafurov at the moment he's considered as the best grappler in Russia, so it would be a probably would be yeah, a very, 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 yeah. Yeah, very, very tough, <laughs> tough round for Yuri. 
Well, he's proven he is the best grappler right now. He's got the seatbelt position. He'll try and tie up an arm and then take the take the neck. I thought what he was going to do there was going to try and grab an arm and then switch to an arm bar from that position, which he can do. Yeah, he's trying to come to one side. Is he going to grab the arm and switch? No, he's got. He's going for a neck crank, reverse neck crank from that position. It's interesting that Marat has started his professional MMA career only about two years ago, and many people believe that if he would start it earlier, it could be it could be it could be a lot better now. A lot better now. But even though people think that now now he's a very good shape, probably in the best shape in his career, so. Well, the referee stood up for Yuri Ivlev. Obviously, Gafurov was happy down there. Ivlev will be very happy to be back on his feet. Gafurov himself told that he realizes that may maybe he has about only a few years left in him. Like on, on his when, when he can fight 100%, he got some injuries, like serious injuries, but. Right now, it's his time to, to be the champions, to be a dominant champion in this stacked featherweight class. Well, he's one. proving it right now. He's 7-0. Oh. He hasn't been beaten, and he is the champion. He's the M1 Challenge featherweight champion. Oh. Oh, I felt that from down here. That was hard. Kafura hit the, hit the floor hard. Obviously, no one likes to see that, but... It wasn't intentional. Ivlev is too much of a professional to aim for that position. Yeah, Ivlev is not known as a dirty fighter, but it happens sometimes. Yep. Oh, he gets another, uh, yellow, another card. yellow card. Wow. I could understand getting a warning, but getting a yellow card for one blow. Wow. You know, when it's accidental like this, get the yellow card straight away, <laughs> that's a little unfair, you know, especially when he's already had a yellow card. You know, warn him would have done, I think. You know, you warn him, he does it again, then give me a yellow card. Yeah, so now the second yellow card doesn't left so much chances for Ivlip, except for, for the finish, yeah. No. He only has to finish his opponent. I mean, uh, that makes it a 10 eight ten round. The then he <laughs> oh, wow. If it was a 10 9, it's going to be down to a 10 7 right now. Yellow card was a little bit premature, I think, but the referee has his reasons. You know what? You wonder what's going through the mind of Yuri of them. You know, you get, two, get the two cards like that. Is it enough to say, oh, I just give up? Or is it enough to say? And now it's interesting because the cornerman of Marat Gafurov tells him not to get too angry because of that. Not, not to get too much into the brawl, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, because he first got struck in the, in the groin. Now we're turning into a brawl. He must have listened to his cornerman. Respect. Well, well, that was definitely a round for Gafurov. Without the yellow cards, and he's lost two yellow cards, it's definitely a 10-7 round. Ibleb must be thinking to himself, what do I have to do now? Because, to be honest, I think he would have to... Nice jump and knee, just miss the head there. You know what, they said that the stand-up was going to Ibleb, but I think Kafurov is there, uh, winning the stand-up also. And Marat is, is one of the, like probably the best grappler in Russia, but he he is fighting out of fighting eagle team, where most of the guys are strikers and very high level strikers. And that's where he's picking it up from, yeah. Yeah, now now with with every fight, with each fight, you can see that he's getting better and better in striking. Well, will Ivlev come out? He has to finish this fight, I think, you know, he, 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 if he... Yeah, and, if and, he, con and considering so so difficult weight cut, maybe now the second round is, is his only chance to, to do it. Because maybe he, he, he will be... in the third, yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, drops down for a single. I thought that was an easy single there. Hmm? <laughs> I just saw it the last second that Ivlev, nice trip, oh. takes him down. 
Gafuro tried the rubber guard, now takes the back to Zivlev. Gafuro, is he going to go for a roll and knee bar? I thought he was going to sit down and roll for a knee bar there. Zivlev doesn't seem to be as explosive I've seen him in the past in, in fights I've seen him before. You know, look, he seems to be just be standing there a lot. You know, he, yeah, maybe partially exactly because of this new new weight class. Tough weight class. I mean, in the past we've seen some spectacular throws from Yuri. You know, he would clinch. Unbelievable throws, but you know, he's quite happy to stand on the outside to the odd punch. Yeah, with, with Yuri, you never know what to expect from him. And, he can and, explode any and, second, and, yeah. And, and, and when, when, when I spoke with Marat, it all like I cannot say that there is something that I'm particularly afraid of with Yuri, but I just know that oh, Yuri caught him nicely there with the overhand right. Now we start to open up. Yeah, Marat told that he, he's just, Yuri is just full of surprises for everybody. You never know what to expect. He's dangerous I would like everywhere. to have spoken before the fight to see how the, the weight cut did affect him, but he seems to be doing fine right now. Not as explosive as I've seen him in the past. Nice body kick. Threw off to drop his elbow there as if to see that hurt. Protecting the side. Threw off gets it. In the half guard. Now mounted, this could be trouble. This could be trouble, especially if we're right. Yeah, and even if he's tired. Yeah, and it's morning. Oh, he took a big shot there. Now it's side control, go for the knee ride. Oh, well done to Evelyn. That is the sign of an experienced fighter. Hands on his thighs, definitely shows that he's tired. But the experience of Ivlev, no matter how tired he was, he got back to his feet. But he needs to do more. Two yellow cards in the first round, he's got to do more to win this fight. He's got to open up just a little bit, like you see it. Leave it to the third round, he's going to be even more tired. And there he does, he does just that, he catches him. The furrow waves him forward, but does he mean it? Because it looked as if he got tagged there. And again, he goes for the shot. A little bit slow. You've left seen it, but he's got the double on the hooks. On the takedown. There's a big shot coming down. Yeah, Ivlev is done. Is he is done. Oh, he is gone. The hammer fists of power has rocked Ivlev. A beautiful win by our champion. Great, great TKO by the current M1 champion in the featherweight division, Marat Gaforo. Very nervous fight, very tough fight for him, but somehow he managed to get out of the tough situation and still win. Rafael Talbert's brown belt the trains very usually in, in Dubai. Marat Gapurov, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it. Great, great fighter.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 56 seconds of the second round, we have a winner due to referee stoppage to ground and pound, Morat Gafulov. Okay, I'm here with your winner, Murat Gafurov. The champion, this should have been a title fight, but obviously, he left, he could not make weight. He got a yellow card in the first round, then a second yellow card. Do you think that put Ivlev off his game plan, or was it just your superiority that shone through? Да, Марат отличный бой. Как вы думаете, Ивлеву дали две желтые карточки, одну, затем сразу же практически другую. Повлияло ли это на на Ивлева? Да не знаю, желтые карточки. Что ему влияет? Он бой также продолжал. Ведь на, на, на меня повлияло. Его два удара ну, очень повлияли. Uh, it actually didn't make a big uh, effect on Ivlev, of course he just continued the fight, but it made a huge effect on me, those two strikes. Well, they say in Russia that for a featherweight you are the best grappler, submission guy as a featherweight. Now you've just proven that you are one of the best at ground and pound. Man, your striking was good, your ground and pound is good. I'm sure we are going to see a lot more. Anything else you want to add to that? В своем весе ты считаешься одним из лучших греплеров по удушающим, по болевым. Но сегодня ты еще доказал, что также являешься большим специалистом в ground and pound и отлично работаешь в стойке. Спасибо. Я с каждым днем развиваюсь, ставлю стойку. Я за разносторонним хочу быть бойцом. Uh, so I work on different aspects of my game. So I work on my stand-up game and on my ground and pound game also. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Murat Gazurov! Что я хотел 